This is WQSY 810 Portable testing the UV5 Mini, UV5R Mini. Anybody on frequency for a quick radio check, please? Amateur Radio and GMRS2. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Amateur Radio and GMRS, and today we have the adorable UV5 Mini. It is absolutely difficult to hold in my hand and show on screen and how adorable it is. This little guy is not really much anymore. This replaces it. And this thing puts out a full 5 watts. And we're going to check it out now. I got the Shurcom power meter here. Now we're doing this kind of sort of real time now because it record. And now we're going to see what it does what did that just say I don't even know what that says hold on a second did I read that right what holy crap 5.25 watts the UV5 mini puts out more than 5 watts holy crap holy crap that that's insane I'm transmitting on 462.725. Hang on, let me transmit on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna transmit on 136. Remember, this is not just a GMRS radio. This is a ham operator radio. Ham radio. It does everything. UHF, VHF, a GMRS. That I just showed you. <laughs> Holy crap! It does 5.25 watts on GMRS Simplex. Simplex. Over 5 watts! Oh my god! And on... And on 136... Now we're in VFO mode, obviously. 136 flat, it does 4.8 watts. Wow! This is insane. Let's go... Let's, let's go to 1. 1, 4, 4, 0, 0. Let's do 144 flat. Let's see. And we're doing 4.85 watts. Holy crap. This little thing is a powerhouse, people. Let's do 148. One, Let's do 148 flat, which is the top end of VHF. Tuh. It's receiving my repeater. All right, let's pow let's put press it. The top end of this, 5.06 watts, on the top end of VHF, 1.148 1 megahertz, puts out five watts. This thing is insane. The UV five R. Holy crap! I was not expecting. I was not expecting that at all. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, so let's try something. Let's do uh, four. Let's do 433. Dot, um, dot zero, zero, zero. Let's do 430, 400, 433 megahertz. Let's try that. See what that does. What the hell? 5.8 watts. It's almost 6 watts. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Let's do that again. All right, just so you know, so I'm not tricking you or nothing like that. Let me show you the frequency. Fourth, I'm pressing the bottom button. There's a bottom button on this on this radio, and that's what I'm pressing. Okay? We spin it around so you can see. Let me focus, 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 5.77 watts. Holy crap, people. This UV5R Mini is not mini in power at all. This thing is a beast of a radio for a little guy. This is going to be my go-to radio from now on for GMRS. Now, you know what's really cool? If they did a, a mini UV5RD for DMR, now that would be sick. A powerhouse radio with DMR capability, that would be a sick freaking item if they did that. 
a UV5R Mini D. <laughs> that would be amazing. They could squeeze in DMR in this little thing. Holy crap. Now, when I say little thing, when I take this battery out, it's hardly any radio. It's majority battery. And it's shockingly small. It is shockingly small. I can't believe it. I can't believe what I am seeing. <laughs> oh my God. I've been doing radio a long time. Not to see almost six watts of power out on a UV5R Mini is insane. Absolutely insane. All right, hang on. Let's see if we can actually get this to six watts. Now remember, 10 watt dummy load. Surecom meter. Very accurate meter. This thing is insanely accurate. Insanely. I'm 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 in awe. I'm completely in awe. So let's let's go up. Let's go up a little bit. Four, 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 five, flat. Let's see what that does. See, I just want to show you four, 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 five, flat. I'm hitting the bottom button. We're spinning it around, and we're getting five point six eight watts. Oh my God, that is insane! You have any idea what we're talking about here? We're talking about a radio that is actually putting out what it's advertising. Now, usually, usually, when you see five watts on a radio such as this, it's always like mid band on VHF and none on UHF. Okay? So when you're seeing five watts on UHF, it's really impressive. And that's why it's almost six watts on VHF because. The, the, uh, the, I, I'm, I'm in awe. I'm in awe. This radio is freaking awesome. Holy crap. This radio, people, this radio will finally get the Joe Tech Tips instant awesome rating just for that alone. It states it's a 5-watt radio. It is not. It's a 6-watt radio. And to underrate it makes me give this the Joe Tech Tips instant awesome rating. I am completely, utterly impressed with the UV5R Mini. This is unbelievable. Un freaking believable, people. You have no idea. This little... I, want, I have a coupon code. You need to buy this from Radioddity. Radioddity sells this. I have a $15 coupon code for this, for anything. And I have a link to my, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, an associate for Radioddity. And Radioddity sells the UV5R as well. Okay, the UV5R Mini. Get it. You, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to use the ability to save a lot of money and the coupon code doesn't expire. You can keep it. Use it. It's just unbelievable, people. Just continue using my code. Please. You're just going to be... I'm, I'm impressed. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I have to send this to all my friends and stuff because they're just going to be blown away on how much power this thing puts out. This is crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. But, okay, let's go. Let's continue with the review. We're, now that we beat to death on how much power this thing puts out. Holy crap. I, I don't even know where else to go with this. Um, as you recall with the... Um, with the the Radioddity GM30 Pro radio, that um, the menu system on that is identical to the Baofeng UV5 Mini. It's very user um, intuitive. It has really nice, um, the menu system, it's just nice. It's words. There's no codes. There's no, like some of these radios that you have, they're really horrible in terms of menu systems. They finally made this very user and user friendly. Uh, it's plain English menus. It's really simple to use. Very simple to program via the front panel, the front keyboard of this radio. On the side, it has an A and a B for transmission for the top frequency and the bottom fre frequency. You don't have to set this for dual watch. You can disable dual watch. The bottom button can be set for the FM radio, which, by the way, which is interesting, United States of America FM radio is from 88 megahertz to 108, okay? This radio goes down to 66, or 65, I believe. 
Yeah, it goes 65 on the FM side, only up to 108, which is bizarre because that's not supposed that's European. So this is a Euro European model. Listen how loud this goes. That's really crazy loud, and I had the speaker facing me, and I'm sure it was very loud for you. So this radio packs an impressive, impressive punch. Um, for the tiny little antenna that it comes with it, it receives... Now, we're in the basement in my YouTube studio, and it received no problem. Let me see if I can actually get somebody on frequency. Let me, let me program this. When you go to menu, you go to menu, then you go to program channel, which is the third menu down, and then you select the channel name that you want it to be. Um, I'm just going to use my club's um, name, which is SR725, uh, okay? And you can't, once you get out of the menu system, you lose out, you lose everything. So you cannot leave... Four, six, two, seven, two, five. You cannot leave the menu system. You gotta stay with it. Always press the buttons. Four, six, seven, seven, two, five. Otherwise, you're gonna have to start over from scratch. So you always gotta be in this. Wide band. Good afternoon. Welcome to the SR725 repeater system. The time is 3.26 p.m. And that is my repeater IDing. I'm hoping we can get somebody on frequency shortly. I'm, I made a mistake with the menu system. I've never done it through the com through the keypad here. This is my first time. <laughs> really, this is so simple. So now we just got to pick a channel, channel memory. I'm going to choose one. Now you don't have to do a receive tone unless you want to hear everything. You only put a receive tone in if uh, when you only want to hear the channel that you're currently on. Confirm. Okay, so remember, you need to know everything. Channel memory, one. Confirm. Okay, we did it. So let's exit out and see if we go to channel one. 19, 20, 17, 12, 9, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. There it is. Let's see if we actually get a, a test here. This is WQSY 810 Portable testing the UV5 Mini, UV5R Mini. Anybody on frequency for a quick radio check, please? Maybe no one's on. WRDM 325, on frequency. Sounding good, Joe. Sounding good on your radio check. You guys are not going to believe how much power this little radio puts out. Is UV, the Baofeng UV-5R Mini? It's insane. Where do you see the video? I'm completely blown away. Yeah, it sounds good. The audio's good. Nice and clear. Yeah, it's great. It sounds really good. <laughs> Thanks, uh, uh, Paul. Yeah, this is unbelievable radio. I'm in the basement. I'm in the basement, and you hear me clear as day. This is a, a, a fantastic, fantastic radio. I'm going to recommend this. This actually gets the Joe Tech Tips instant awesome rating. That's how impressed I am. Wow, very good. We're going to have to order. We're going to have to order one. Unbelievable radio. It's so tiny, though. So I'm recommending that they make a UV5R Mini D for a DMR. Yeah, but then you would only need one radio. Paul, this thing puts out so much power, you're going to be you're going to be floored. You're going to be floored. Oh my god. So if they made a UV5R Mini D, it would be that's such a cool name. It would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's causing so much interference. I'm hearing hum on everything downstairs in my basement. That's great and uh and that's what the stock is telling, right? Absolutely, stock antenna. I, I'm just, I'm so blown away. <laughs> I can't believe it. I absolutely can't believe it. Yeah, that's very, very good. 
Yeah, all right, let me finish up this video. I'm I'm completely impressed. This is definitely going to be everyone's go-to radio, especially if they make it a DMR, because then it'll 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 satisfy both of everything: GMRS, amateur radio, and DMR. Oh my God! Yeah, it's definitely cool. We have to check it out. All right, WQSY810 portable is clear. Thank you for the radio check. So as you can see, this radio kicks some major butt. Unbelievable. I'm in the basement. In the basement. Come on. This, my pe my friends, my peeps, people who are watching, UV5R Mini, gets the Joe Tech Tips and some more. <laughs> I can't even talk. Gets the Joe Tech tip Tips instant awesome rating, hands down. Awesome. Awesome radio. It is getting a little warm. It is tiny. <laughs> it is tiny. I am transmitting a lot of power out of it. Um, anyway, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time. From Nassau shores to the Suffolk Pines, the mountain tops where the big skip climbs, where life hit the mountain with Dave D.I.